Ever heard the saying that birds are just tiny dinosaurs with feathers? Turns out, that's not just a clever line from Jurassic Park. It's rooted in reality. Millions of years ago, birds weren't the seed-eating, worm-snatching creatures we know today. They were rules of the land, apex predators through and through. Imagine a 10-foot-tall, feathered juggernaut, hook beak sharp enough to tear flesh, talons that worked like daggers, a creature with no sympathy, no hesitation. Welcome to the terrifying era of the terror birds, a time when these colossal murder machines dominated the land. And here's the thing, terror birds isn't just a catchy nickname. These creatures had an official title for us resids. Native to South America, they ruled the land after the dinosaurs disappeared and before mammals rose to power. They couldn't fly, but that didn't slow them down. Picture this a creature built like a tank on absurdly powerful chicken legs. Some of them stood 10 feet tall, weighing over 500 pounds, and those massive hooked beaks. Tools of destruction. They could crack bones, pierce skulls, and toss their prey into the air like it was nothing. If you were a small mammal in ancient Patagonia, life was a constant gamble. The grass rustles you pause. But before you can react, this massive bird barrels toward you at 30 miles per hour. No wings. Just talons pounding the earth and a hooked beak aiming for your face. That was life under Tyannus Waleri, one of the last and fiercest terror birds. It even ventured into North America when the continents connected, casually proclaiming, this is my territory now. The terror birds weren't like raptors souping in from the skies. They hunted differently. Ambush predators using speed and stealth to deliver one deadly blow. Some paleontologists believe they didn't even chew their food. Instead, they slammed their prey into the ground with their monstrous beaks and swallowed chunks whole. Then there was Kalenkin, the superstar of terror birds. Its skull was over two feet long, the largest of any known bird. Its beak, a bone-crushing weapon powerful enough to obliterate a ribcage with ease. But terror birds weren't the only feathered nightmares in prehistoric times. Over in Australia, there was Dromornis, the thunderbird. Towering at 10 feet tall and weighing nearly half a ton, it was an unstoppable force. Whether it was a carnivore or herbivore is up for debate. But if something that size charged at you, it wouldn't matter what it ate. And let's not forget Gasternus from Europe, a giant bird that appeared right after dinosaurs vanished. With a beak like a guillotine, silent, swift, and deadly, it likely hunted small mammals with ruthless efficiency. So why did birds rule the land back then? Simple. When the asteroid wiped out the dinosaurs, it left a void at the top of the food chain. No T-Rex, no Allosaurs, just mammals. And for a long time, mammals were small, timid, and just trying to survive. Birds, direct descendants of dinosaurs, stepped up. Their dinosaur legs, sharp reflexes, and killer beaks gave them an edge. They became the apex predators mammals couldn't yet be. But mammals didn't stay weak forever. Over millions of years, they evolved into powerful hunters, big cats, bears, wolves, pack predators with sharper teeth and smarter brains. Eventually, they started pushing back. When fast, coordinated predators arrived, terror birds began to lose ground. Nature doesn't play ferrets, and around 2 million years ago, terror birds vanished, replaced by a new generation of top predators. But imagine if they were still alive today. Forget ostriches. Picture going for a hike and seeing a 10-foot tall bird staring at you from the shadows, like a prehistoric emu with bloodlust. Zoos would need steel-reinforced bunkers instead of cages, and bird watchers would be tracking a 500-pound predator, hoping it doesn't turn the tables on them. Yeah, no thanks. So next time you see a pigeon waddling across the street, just remember, its ancestors were absolute monsters. Not all dinosaurs went extinct. Some simply swapped their teeth for feathers. And for one brief, terrifying moment in Earth's history, birds weren't prey. They were the undisputed kings of the food chain. And honestly, that might just be the most metal thing about evolution, if you thought this was wild. Just wait till you hear about the eagle that hunted humans or the crocodile that took down dinosaurs. Hit that subscribe button, and I'll catch you next time on Fossil Facts.